I've been working on research now for over 20 years in MS. Unfortunately, it has a whole range of presentations from sensory changes to weakness, visual loss. But what we have learned in the last 30 years of MS is that it is treatable. And the key to treatment is early intervention. But MS is so variable, it can be relatively mild and remain mild for many years. It can start mild and then become more aggressive, or unfortunately it can be aggressive from the start. So it's very much about personalizing that treatment. And fortunately, we have over 15 different types of MS disease modifying therapies available. Of those, we go from anything from tablets, like Tecfidera twice a day tablet, which has relatively little effect in the immune system, up to some of the research that I've pioneered in stem cell therapy, where we replace the whole body's immune system to try and change how the body tolerates its own nervous system. And look into the future, we're looking at CAR-T therapies, which also look very promising at giving people a very strong treatment for the MS. First thing, obviously, is to diagnose it. And unfortunately, that can be a slow process because the neurological system is not easily accessible to investigations. And often, unfortunately, we often see people with delayed diagnosis. So the key is to see an expert in MS and to get that diagnosis early and then to look at the treatment options to avoid the accumulation of disability over time. And it saddens me that still, it's still common now that patients are undertreated or treated too late. And really I'd make a plea to everybody if you're worried about this condition to see an expert and also an expert who's very um, proactive about treatment because that will make a big difference for, for the patient themselves. There's also lifestyle changes about vitamin D, diet, and all these things that can contribute to the general well-being of the individual.